Number three ranked Dominic Reyes gets knocked out in the second round by number five ranked Yuri Prohoshka, who appears to be the next runner up to fight the winner of Jan Blahovich versus number one ranked Glover Teixeira um, after they duke it out for the title, man. Just give me your take first and foremost, overall, in terms of both Reyes and Yuri's performance, man. This wasn't as one-sided as the outcome made, makes it appear to be. So just give me your take, AJ. It, you're right, Derek. It wasn't as one-sided as everyone was saying because Yuri got touched up. Yuri got pieced up a little bit, and he got hit more than he wanted to. And he, even, he noted at the end, this wasn't as good as I was expecting. Still, KO round two, an amazing knockout and an amazing performance. He definitely was a little more fluid and not as herky-jerky and definitely didn't leave himself as open to be hot, as, as hit as normal. Um, but man, oh, dude, Reyes. Reyes was looking good. He was looking good until he started feeling that power. Once Yuri started hitting him with those power shots, I knew I knew the over, or the end was near. But it was a good fight, man. You were very happy if you stayed tuned to the end. What was your takeaway? Well, I liked how exactly what you pointed out, right? Yuri, he's pressing the pace, doing that. What I like to see out of Dominic Ray is what I really enjoyed is that there was some of that killer instinct back, which is, yeah, I'm getting put bloodied up. I'm getting punched up. You're putting me on the back foot, but I'm coming back with the Yair Rodriguez back elbow. I'm coming back with that left hand, just counters. Like if Yuri was a normal human being with a normal human being's chin, I honestly believe Reyes would have won that fight by knockout, man. Yuri the whole entire time, hands down. And that's an anomaly, right? That's one of these people who are just special, who are different, who put the division on notice because Dominic Reyes was supposed to be the devastator. He's supposed to be the guy who puts everybody on notice. But we do all respect to Dominic Reyes, man. You don't get cut from here. You better not get cut from here. You don't go into a real downward trajectory because you're fighting the best of the best, man. And I don't know many other 205ers who are going to take care of Yuri Prohoshka. Um, you know what I mean? Jan Blahovich, I do think Jan Blahovich holds the key and Glover to share both. I believe both of them hold the key to be able to defeat Yuri Prohoshka, but he makes it close, man. It's not like any of these are going to be landslides. So ultimately, that spinning back elbow um, was preceded by something that nobody's really talking about, which we need to break down really quickly, man. Yuri Pahashka, I'm almost positive, AJ. I'm almost positive here that he was flash KO'd seconds prior to landing that spinning back elbow. So what happens is that he has Dominic Reyes in this position where Dominic Reyes is on his back and he's over him and he's trying to go and see, let me get some ground and pound, do whatever I can, get up in here. He gets into like a side control, maybe like a half guard situation. He eats big elbows from Reyes, which is another thing I really love to see. He was a dog throughout the whole fight until he got knocked out. So what does Yuri do? He stands up. I'm going to manipulate the legs, right? Bro, he eats a flush up kick where his body goes limp. And this is the argument to be made between this fight and the Pinejo situation, right? Because Pinejo, the natural inclination, AJ, ask, uh, let me know if I'm wrong here, but the natural inclination is when you get stiffed, your body goes limp. You cannot brace your fall, even though that's our natural tendency is to brace our fall, right? You can't. That's why Reyes looked like he just died. Let's see, he looked like Frankie Edgar after Sandhagen kneed him in the face, right? Now for Pinejo, um, when she got you know hit with that up kick, her hands went back and it looked like she kind of just decided like, eh, I'm going to take a look at the ref. Oh, no. Oh, no. I'm knocked out, bro. I'm knocked out, right? And I'm not listening. I don't want to I don't want to make fun too much. But ultimately, you could definitely see Yuri Pahashka get just like literally flatlined and then just like wake up and say, now I'm pissed off and just start giving it to rest. And that's what brought the finish, man. If anything, what does that tell you? Just give me just in, in terms of your MMA mind, right? What does that tell you about the heart of Yuri Pahashka? Well, that's, that's exactly it, Derek. We talked about it before with uh, Benil Daryush. One of my favorite things about Benil Daryush is he, he got cracked by Jakar Close and looked back at him like, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, now we fighting. Like, this is it, bro. That's that heart you want to see where you get cracked and you're like, the, they'll come back even harder, man. And to me, when I was I was with you right there, or I was I agree with you totally, man. I think he got flashed a little bit. He saw some light, and Yuri knew it was time to fight or else I'm going to get put out by Dominic Reyes, who I'm devastating, yeah. uh, ironically, the devastator. But, uh, man, yeah, that's it showed hella hard because instead of getting hit and quitting and and you know having introverted thoughts in yourself and just kind of that self demoralization and man a little fire underneath Yuri and that's what we like to see as a fighter man that fire that comes through and just makes you want to keep competing even harder and harder and I think he earned some fans I know I definitely know he earned more I've, I've been a fan of Yuri for a while but he earned some fans around my cir uh, circles and he's he's got a, a lot of uh, a lot of respect from a lot of the other fighters out there. Listen, man, if he didn't earn some fans, I'll tell you, he earned a, a boatload of money because he not only got the fight of the night, he also got a performance of the night bonus, man. So Yuri is high rolling and uh, we'll talk about it for the matchmaking. But he says he kind of wants to slow this train down, man. He's like, I've only had two fights. They already want to throw the championship at me. Like, I know I'm a killer. I know I'm a samurai. But what are we talking about? I want to go live in the forest and just practice martial arts every day. Like, that's why I love him because he really brings out. I don't know. You saw he was bowing in the cage. He bowed to Reyes and Reyes didn't bow back. I was like, oh, shit, you about to get fucked up now, man. You, you don't 
don't do that to a martial artist. Um, but also, I think that was Reyes kind of saying, like, hey, I'm not going to I'm not going to let you lead the dance. Like, you know, I'm not going to play your game. Like, no, nah, fuck that. I'm here to fight. But anyway.